Welcome back to the NASCAR 15 Let's Play, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, I'm about to do race 12 of 36. I'm here at Charlotte Motor Speedway here in Concord, North Carolina for the running of the Coca-Cola 600. So 100% difficulty. Uh, I will do qualifying just a second. Uh, 40 laps um, times one on the tire wear and fuel use. Cautions will be on and visual damage only. So let me accept these changes. And let me do qualifying real quick and I will be right... Ugh. I'll be right back. So I just finished up qualifying and uh, I made it to the final round and for the second race in a row, I start third. So I start third at Kansas and I start third here at Charlotte. So the previous race was the All-Star race, didn't really matter for points, but I did win the All-Star race, got a million dollars. But the on the previous points race was Kansas, I started third in that race. And uh, had a good car, but not the fastest, but I ended up fourth in that race. So uh, anyway, so tonight, hopefully I'll get my, my third win of the season. Haven't won since Auto Club Speedway. That's been like seven races now. So I'm on a little bit of a losing streak, but hopefully um, since I had a good car at, at, during the All-Star race, maybe I'll have a good car to win this race. So we'll see. So let's get on to the race here, shall we? And this could be the longest race of the NASCAR 15 Let's Play. The sense is going to be 40 laps at a mile and a half track. So here we are at Charlotte Motor Speedway here in Concord, North Carolina. For the all, for the run of the Coca-Cola 600. It's not the all-star race. There you see the cars lined up on pit road. Really nice. There you see the cars lined up on pit road from the back. Really nice. So Jeff Gordon will start on the pole. AJ Allmendinger will start second. I start third. And Kyle Larson will start fourth. And uh, there's the flyover. Very nice. Beautiful night for for the Coca-Cola 600. There's the Coca-Cola 600 winner's trophy if you win this race. Hopefully I'll win that trophy and get my third win of the season tonight. So here we go. 40 laps. The pace car is off. Jeff Gordon and AJ Allmendinger will lead us down to the green flag. And I will start in the third spot. And we'll see what happens after 40 laps. Here at this mile and a half tracks for some night racing. 40 laps. And here we go. We're about to get ready for the green flag. And the and the green flag is out. We are underway in the Coca-Cola 600 at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Wow, what an interesting way to start the race. I made it three wide going into one, and I took the race lead, passing Jeff Gordon and AJ Allmendinger. I lead lap one. That's the same move I tried to pull at Kansas when I tried to get underneath Tony Stewart and Jay McMurray. It did not work. I had to back off, but it worked to my greatness in this race. So what a good way to start this race for me, obviously. And looks like I'm going to lead lap two. I have a good feeling that I could have a big shot of winning this race because as you saw in the All-Star race, I dominated that. And uh, I really pulled away from the field. And it looks like I'm pulling away from the field once again here at Charlotte. And remember, this is on 100% AI difficulty. I mean, there's proof in the video that I accepted the changes. Uh, once you accept the changes, um, you cannot change them back. Even if I reset in my console, you cannot change the settings back. So, yeah. One car is already on pit road. I don't know who it is, but someone's already down pit road. So after three laps in the race, I'm leading the way. Kurt Busch second, Martin Truex Jr. third, and Eric Almirola in fourth. Oh, I went up the racetrack here. Had to get out of the gas. All right, some uh, someone's in turn two. I don't know who came down pit road. All right, I just kind of scraped the outside wall just a bit, got some damage, but no problem. Doesn't look like I'm pulling away though. I pulled away just a little bit, but now it looks like it's stabilized. In the All Star race, I pulled it away pretty good, but uh, doesn't look like that's happening here.
Oh my god, Joseph, can you stop hitting that outside wall? That's the second lap you've done that. I'll tell you what, I am uh, getting caught by these guys. It's not good. That's. <laughs> I don't want that to happen. I want to try to win this race. Man, this car is really tight. My goodness. I went up the racetrack just a little bit there. So far, so good. I don't know who that car is up there. Going really slow, too. This, is that McDowell? It might be McDowell. I can't tell who that is. I can't tell who that car is. It looks like it's McDowell, but I'm not quite sure. Alright, Joseph, let's not hit the apron. Alright, now it looks like I'm pulling away. Remember once I got the race lead at Auto Club Speedway, I pulled away? Looks like that's happening here. It's a white car. But I think I see some red. Is that, I, is that McDowell? I can't tell. I'm getting closer to it, definitely. Yeah, that looks like it's Michael McDowell. Wow, do I have a one second lead over Kurt Busch and Martin Truex Jr. already? Well, not Martin Truex Jr., it's a little more than that, but yeah, you know. Yeah, that is Michael McDowell. I don't know what's going on with him, but I'm going to get around him easily. So, looks like some interesting stuff happening in this race. But as of right now, I am pulling away from the field, which is a good thing. Although it's going to make it a boring race if I don't have anyone to challenge, you know? So, with 30 laps to go, 10 laps to complete in this race, I'm leading the... Oh, boy. That was idiotic of me. Um, I'm leading the way. Kurt Busch, second. Mark Church, Jr., third. And Eric Almirola in fourth. I have a 1.1 second lead over Kurt Busch. About one half second lead over Mark Truex. And about a two second lead over Eric Almirola. Yeah, it looks like Michael McDowell's game passed. Now, I believe that's A.J. Allmendinger in fifth. But what a great move I made at the start of the race. I made it three wide on Jeff Gordon, A.J. Allmendinger going into one. And it made it work. And took the race lead. I tried to do that at Kansas on Tony Stewart and Murray, And it did, it did not work the way I hoped it would. So, you know. It is what it is, and I ended up with a fourth place finish there. But it looks like I'm continuing to pull away. Well, like I said I pulled away about this much uh, in the uh, at Auto Club Speedway, and I ended up winning the race. Now, um, I forgot what race was it. I believe it was the Auto Club race, but uh, someone in the comment section got so pissed off at me that there's no way you can pull away to a two second lead on 100% difficulty. It's like, uh, buddy, in real life NASCAR, obviously they're always racing at 100% because they are, but you see them sometimes pull away to a four to five second lead. So. <laughs> this one guy got so mad at me that uh, I pulled it away to a two-second lead at All Clip Speedway and won the race. When in real life NASCAR, you can pull away to a four to five-second lead. So, it's like, buddy, uh, watch real life NASCAR first before you call me out on how good I am on NASCAR games. And I seen that I have more experience on them racing at 100% difficulty before you call me out. Watch real life NASCAR first. I think it's kind of funny when people complain that I, uh, I, I'm just too good on 100%. It's kind of funny listening those uh, what, reading those comments and listening to people complain. Sometimes I have 
I've gotten people sending me messages, and it's like a voice kind of message on Xbox, and they bitch and complain about how good I am. It's like, really? Look at this. Two second lead over Kurt Busch. You gonna complain about that? Oh, but I'm in the wall. All right. Well, I'm not gonna have a two second lead anymore, so now you won't have to complain. <laughs> well, I just uh, screwed myself there. So even if I win this race tonight, I'm going to have some difficult tracks coming up. Dover is, might be difficult for me, although in the NASCAR 14 Let's Play when I did the Dover race, I had a pretty good race in the first part of the race, and then all of a sudden when I got involved in the wreck between me and Casey Kane, I just couldn't recover, and I only recovered to finish 10th. And, uh, and then I got Pocono in a couple races, so Pocono I know I'm not going to do great there, so... Yeah. Alright, so now I'm down to a 1.1 second lead. After messing up in turn number 4 and uh, hitting that wall. I mean, I just love the people that bitches and complains that I don't race 100% when clearly in the video I clearly show you and proof to you that I race on 100% when I accept the changes. If you ever play this NASCAR, in these NASCAR games, once you accept the changes, you cannot change them back. It doesn't matter if you reset your console like five times or something, you cannot change the settings back. I found that out um, after in NASCAR Inside Line came out. So I'm about to reach the halfway point next time by, so yeah. If you're going to complain to me that I don't race 100%, play this game first. What I want you to do, uh, set up the settings for 100% difficulty, click accept, turn off your console, turn it back on, and try it again. And see if you can change the settings, because I cannot. So, whatever. Alright, about to reach the halfway point. Um, after, it's going to be 20 laps to go. I'm leading the way, Kurt Busch 2nd, Montreal Jr. 3rd, and Eric Almarola in 4th, and so far, I'm not gonna lie, this race is pretty boring. I'm not gonna lie, even Kansas was boring to me, even someone in the comment section said the Kansas race was boring. Which, I even mentioned it during the race that, like, I think it was with 3 to 4 laps to go, I even said, I'm not gonna lie, this Kansas race is pretty boring. I even said that, and I'm, I wasn't wrong, even this race is Pretty boring. I mean, I'm pulling away. So, the only reason why I'm pulling away on 100% difficulty is because I have a lot of experience on NASCAR games. I've been playing NASCAR games since 2002. I know the sense of difficulty these games will have. And second of all, you're talking about Eutechnics. I mean, Eutechnics still made this game. But DMI helped them out. DMI only published this game, but DM, uh, in, Utenix still made this game. DMI won't start making the games till NASCAR 16. So you're talking about Utenix too, that that makes it easy as well. Down the back straightaway once again. And coming around this time by, it'll be 17 laps to go. How about let's have a NASCAR 15 Let's Play style crank it up.
14 laps to go here at Charlotte Motor Speedway, and I'm still leading the way. Looks like I'm about to catch a couple of lap traffic. I believe Chase Elliott is one of those cars, and I believe the other car is Casey Mears, or I really can't tell who that is. Maybe someone else. Yeah, it is Casey Mears, and I thought it was Chase Elliott as well. I have a 1.7 second lead over Kurt Busch. But like, like I said, this race has been pretty boring. I'm not gonna lie to you. Not impressed. Wasn't impressed with the Kansas race either. And I thought the All Star race was a little boring too. I'm not gonna lie. So, seems like all three races this week has been boring. Oh my god. Oops, I actually changed the camera settings. Oh boy. Alright, alright, fine, fine, fine. I'm going to get held up by these guys. 12 laps to go. Alright, going to YOLO in there. Maybe, maybe. Oh, yeah, maybe, maybe. Don't hit Chase. There we go. Oh, man, if these guys hold me up too much, I'm going <laughs> to... Kurt Busch and the others are going to catch me. Don't need that to happen. Oh, I... Oh, my gosh. Alright, I kind of got in the back of Chase. I like, well, these guys are catching me now. So let's go, Joseph. Let's go. Let's get around Casey Mears, too. Oh, my God. Whoa. All right. Let's calm down now. Oh, my God. Really? It's really this. Oh, my God. It's this. Oh, yep. Here's Kurt Busch. Is a lot of traffic really going to cost me? I better get around these two. Ten laps to go here at Charlotte Motor Speedway in the Coca-Cola 600. I'm leading the way. Kurt Busch second, Eric Almirola third, and I'm running. F and Marjorie Jr. fourth. I almost said I'm running fourth. Oh my God! Please get around. Oh my God! Mm. Get. Oh. oh my God, Joseph. And now they're side by side. Where am I supposed to go here? God's sakes! Get out of the way! Damn it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. And Kurt Busch is underneath me. I can't get around these guys. Basically it's because they're running the same line. Oh my god. Oh my god. I saved it. Lot traffic. Damn it. I kind of came down on Kurt Busch though. To be fair, but it's just that they keep running my lines. Like I'm, I want to run the bottom lane, but they're down there, and then I try to see if I can run the outside lane, and they're up there. Now I'm back to fifth. Damn it! I came down on Kurt Busch. It is clearly shown that I came down on Kurt Busch, but I just, mmm, it's just frustrating when live traffic's in the way. Oh my God! I'm not gonna win this race now. I just got screwed. Danica Patrick, six? Holy crap. She's having a good run. Congrats to her. Although Eric Almirola's having a good run as well. Ah, I hit the apron. There I go up the racetrack. Oh, uh, that's... Yep, yeah, that ends it for me. Here comes Danica. I can't believe I didn't... I'm not going to win this race. And I try to get around Chase Ellie and Casey Mears, but every time I get underneath them in the corner, I get so tight, I have to get out of the gas and uh, let them go, because I didn't want to hit the side of them. I mean, I hit the side of Casey Mears and almost took myself out off turn number two a few laps ago. But I'm going to lose this race now, am I? Clint Boyer just moved to the sixth spot. Oh, look, Kurt Busch got around them easily. You can't do that for me. Five laps to go. Kurt Busch leading. I'm running fifth. I can't believe I didn't wreck the race car either. I, I'm so lucky I didn't spin out. I s managed to save it. Truex kind of helped me save it, though. That's frustrating as hell. Led every lap, too, until this point. Oh, but they're getting held up, so maybe if I can catch them, I could have another shot at it. Four laps to go. 
I had a two second lead at one point. Dale Knight Jr. is just taking the race lead away from Kurt Busch. Maybe if Casey Mears and Chase Elliott can hold him up uh, for some more time, maybe I can get up there again. I didn't realize I'm running low on fuel as well. My goodness. Come on, keep holding him up. Keep holding him up, lap traffic. Let me get up to them. I'm one second behind Dale Knight Jr. now. So maybe I'm not out of this yet. Maybe. Doing a great job holding him up. Uh, but let's... Oh, Kurt Busch has got the race lead back. Nope, Dale Knight Jr. just got back. Alright, they were side by side for a second. Oh, come on. Do I have another shot at this? I'm going to get lucky if I do. But to be fair, I did come down on Kurt Busch. I was mad at myself for doing that. But I'm mad at the lap traffic. Alright, I'm passing one trick Jr. for fourth. Two laps to go at Charlotte. This could get exciting. Oh, man. I'm not out of this yet. Dale Knight Jr. through the race leader. Oh, man. Where am I supposed to go from here? Oh, move. Come on, now. Not at, oh, I'm tight. Oh, I'm tight. Oh, I kind of put Truex in the wall. I don't think he did hit the wall, though. White flag is out. Final lap at Charlotte in the Coca-Cola 600. Here I go for second. Oh, my God. Oh, I overdrove turn one. That's the end of it. I'm not going to win, I don't think. Not going to give it up yet. Oh, this is going to be exciting. Oh, 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 my God. Come on, now. Come on, now. Oh, Mears, no. Damn it. Ah, Mears. Lap traffic. Oh, damn it. Ah! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> oh, that was exciting, though. I'm not gonna lie. Remember when I said it was a boring race? Let me just say it was a boring race until the last eight laps, I would say. Ah! <laughs> if Mears wasn't there! <laughs> well, Junior Nation's gonna be happy, I, you know? Alright, you know what? Second place finished. <laughs> I'll take it. But overall, I would say the lap traffic screwed me in this race. Just like Atlanta. <sighs> if Kate, I, I had a run on Dale Knight Jr. up on the outside lane. I don't know how I splitted the middle between Dale Knight Jr. and Kurt Busch. I was, I was just YOLOing it. And it would have worked if Mears wasn't there. But Mears was there and he held me up. Ah! <sighs> it was exciting though. All right, so Dale Knight Jr. wins the Coca-Cola 600 here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. I finished second, and uh, I set the fastest lap of the race on lap two with a 28.40 and led 31 laps, led most of the race. Eric Almirola third, Kurt Busch fourth, Martin Truex Jr. fifth, Clint Boyer sixth, Danica Patrick seventh, Bobby Labine eighth, Jeff Gore ninth, and Kevin Harvick rounds up the top ten. Casey Kane eleventh, Brad Keselowski thirteenth, Kyle Busch fifteenth. Matt Kenseth, 18th, and rounding up the top 20 is uh, Tony Stewart. 21st is Michael Ned, Jimmy Johnson, 22nd, David Reagan, 24th, Carl Edwards, 25th, Kyle Larson, 26th, Ryan Newman, 27th, Brian Vickers, 29th, and Greg Biffle rounds up the top 30. Danny Hamlin, 31st, Joey Logano, 32nd, Cole Whitt finishes 35th, and David Gillen will round up the top 40. 41st is Chase Elliott, Casey Mears finishes 42nd, and Michael McDowell finishes 43rd. <sighs> damn. Damn it, damn it, damn it. <laughs> Did you like me flailing my arms when uh after I lost my race? Like I was like this. <laughs> I flailed my arms. Let's see that again. <sighs> oh. It's okay. I'll take a second place finish. It could have been worse, though. After I came down on Kurt Busch and almost took myself out, but I managed to save it. Could have been worse. I could have finished back in 35th, uh, 35th or worse because I would have had to restart in the back and brought out that caution. So, could have been worse, you know. But, to be fair, I did come down on Kurt Busch. But the reason being is because I got held up by Chase Elliott and Casey Mears. I didn't know which line they were going. And I didn't know how much of a big of a run that Kurt Busch was going to have, so I thought I'd come down. But Kurt Busch had a bigger run, and I came down in front of him. So it was my fault for that incident. 
But, good news, I am the po new points leader. <laughs> awesome, by three points over Casey Kane, Jeff Gordon third in points, Kevin R fourth, and Jay McMurray round up the top five points. And rounding up the top ten points is Jimmy Johnson. Uh, so it looks like between first through tenth is uh, by 38 points. And uh, Dale Knight Jr. moves up to 13th in points as well. Wow, Dale Knight Jr. was 26th in points. He's now 13th in points, so wow, congrats to him. So, uh, <sighs> Dover is the next race. Maybe I'll win Dover. I'm kind of on and off at Dover, so who knows. Uh, so, we'll see. So, next race will be at Dover National Raceway at the Monster Mile for race 13 and 36. For the running of the uh, FedEx 400 benefiting Autism Speaks. So, will I get my third win of the season in that race? Find out. So, I will see you at the Monster Mile at Dover.